in this lecture we will study about magnetic field intensity and relative permeability now we have seen that uh, according to the maxwell's equation for steady currents we can write 1 by mu naught del cross b is equal to the steady volume current density now for this case we have assumed that there is no magnetized material uh, nearby however it is very easy to include the effect of uh, the magnetized materials as you know that uh, any magnetized material can be thought of or made uh, represented by an equivalent current density del cross m or the surface current density m cross an now this is volume current density of course according to the maxwell equation it is equivalent to all kinds of the source even uh, the source which are you know uh, in the magnetized material the atomic circulating current dipoles or any uh, steady current source so this should include both kind of current density means this 1 by mu naught del cross b is equal to all kinds of current density the free current density plus any current density because of the magnetized material so in this way we can include the effect of magnetized material explicitly just by mentioning that this j is comprised of these two parts the free current density as well as the magnetized current density so now i can take this on the left hand side and i can write del cross now this mu naught is independent of del i can take it inside minus del cross m is equal to j or i can write del cross b by mu naught minus m is equal to j now this quantity b over mu naught minus m is sometimes or uh, called as magnetic field intensity or h so i can write del cross h is equal to j free now you see this j is just the free current densities similar to you know in our electrostatics case we had del dot d is equal to rho free so similarly here del cross h is equal to j free now in some physics books you might find like similar to the feynman's lecture on physics uh, they have defined h is equal to b minus mu not m so there can be different kinds of definition uh, however in electrical engineering especially for designing of magnetic uh, machines like transformers and all those things we you typically use this definition of h magnetic field intensity so we will stick to it so this h is thus equal to b over mu not minus m now this definition of h explicitly involves the effect of magnetization as well as the magnetic flux density and its units are ampere per meter or i can write b is equal to mu not h plus m so you see that del cross h is equal to j free or i can write del cross h dot ds over a surface s should be equal to j dot ds over the surface s now using uh, the stokes theorem it can be simply written as h dot dl over the curve c which is Uh, bounding that surface s is equal to the current through that surface s so this is what we typically use in our electrical machines for magnetic circuits so this is what equation we typically use now for 
the media which are linear and isotropic we have the condition that this magnetization is proportional to the magnetic field intensity or m is equal to chi m h where this is the proportionality constant and sometimes called as magnetic susceptibility okay for air this chi m is equal to 0 so b is equal to mu naught h plus m is equal to mu naught h plus chi m h when the media is linear and isotropic so is equal to mu naught 1 plus chi m h or it equal to mu naught mu r h so this is relative permeability given as 1 plus chi m so for uh, the media which is linear and isotropic we can represent b is equal to simply mu h where mu is mu naught mu r the permeability of that medium and this is relative permeability equal to mu over mu naught so it is an another dimensionless quantity and this is absolute permeability of the medium now in uh, you know uh, practical cases uh, especially in the magnetics domain uh, as compared to electrostatics or dielectrics uh, this uh, linearity is found very you know less often means it is rarely found most of the materials we which we will be facing in our study of magnetic materials they will be non-linear so uh, in that case uh, we will have difficulty in util directly utilizing this constitutive relation now even for simple medium uh, this is uh, having you know this form and we by simple medium we mean that it is linear isotropic and homogeneous so because of that chi m that is the magnetic susceptibility and the relative permeability both are constants however in other kind of media this mu r that is the relative permeability can be a function of space coordinates so for many materials this mu r is uh, very close to that of air however for materials such as uh, nickel cobalt and iron it can be very high up to around 5000 or up to even 10 to the power 6 for some special alloys so this permeability in that case does not only depend on the magnitude of the magnetic intensity but also on the previous history of the material that is there will be hysteresis now we will study in some other lecture about these uh, magnetic materials and hysteresis and all those things uh, so you see if we make a comparison between electrostatics and magnetostatics we can find equations very easily from one to second case in most of the cases when E is replaced with B D is replaced with H Epsilon is replaced with Mu P is replaced with M and the current density is replaced with the charge density no sorry current, uh, this charge density is replaced with the current density the vector scalar potential is replaced with the vector potential and the dot product is replaced with the cross product and cross product is replaced with dot product 
so with this about table most of the equation that are relating the basic quantities in electrostatics can be converted into corresponding analogous ones in magnetostatics so if you just remember one equation in electrostatics you can easily find the equation of magnetostatics so this is the beauty of you know electromagnetism although sometimes we should be very careful while using these shortcuts because uh, we should have an idea or physical intuition of the basics and the understanding about them so if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe our youtube channel and also join our telegram group whose link is given in the description of this video thank you